I'm Ed Kelly, editor of The Oklahoman. Education will determine if Oklahoma's aerospace industry is to grow, because what's at stake cannot be emphasized too much. Aerospace represents some 10% of the state's economy in both the public and private sectors. At $55,000 per year, the average job in aerospace pays double, double that of the average job elsewhere. Quite simply, aerospace in Oklahoma helps diversify our state in a big, big way. But that's in peril if leaders in Oklahoma who understand aerospace importance don't react to troubling trends. It's not just me saying it. One who gets it is Governor Mary Fallon. Ten years ago, when she was lieutenant governor, she organized an aerospace summit in Oklahoma. Now, a decade later, she's returning to the annual summit as governor. The industry has come a long way in those ten years, but Fallon, in an interview with the Tulsa World, Riley points out that a trained workforce is among the keys to future growth, particularly with an outflow of soon-to-be retirees. Also of concern, she said, is brain drain to other states, which means that a better educated populace is needed in both the short and the long terms. The Wall Street Journal reports many employers worry about recruiting new talent and thus are assisting our educational system better meet their needs. Does Oklahoma have enough young people skilled in math, engineering, and science? Do young people in our state even know of the opportunities presented by aerospace careers? How can education and business better pair up to grow aerospace? These questions and more need answers to help nurture one of the most important industries in Oklahoma.